Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to be here with you tonight. I do apologize. The governor is uh, out of the state this week, which means that my schedule kind of doubles up, and uh, I didn't want to miss this event, but I do have some other things that I need to take care of. Um, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to tell on myself a little bit and, um, and, and ask your forgiveness. So, so uh, I've, I've been working really hard um, in, in this position on several issues related specifically to technology and, and women. Um, I'm, I'm proud to serve with Sarah on the board of the, the Women's Leadership Institute. Um, I've had the opportunity, as she mentioned, to attend the, uh, the Tech Awards uh, the, uh, the last couple years, and, and uh, I just, Sarah doesn't give, get nearly enough credit for everything that she does. Um, join me in giving her a round of applause. <laughs> So, I feel like, you know, um, I'm pretty good on this stuff, especially for, you know, a, a white Republican male. Um, I'm doing as good as we can possibly do. And uh, today, I, um, uh, a member of the House of Representatives texted me and said, hey, I, I have a visitor here, a uh, CEO of the, uh, the largest um, real estate company in China who is here, and could you take a few minutes and, and visit with the CEO? I said, absolutely. That's one of the things that I do as the Secretary of State of Utah, which, which is also part of my, uh, my job description. And so, um, so the, the, the point in time came, I walked out. Um, there was obviously this, this uh, uh, the Chinese delegation, a, a man and, and, uh, and a lady there. Um, I, and I walked right up to him and, and, and thanked him uh, for coming to the state of Utah. We're really ex excited to host him and found out that um, he was the interpreter uh, for um, this young lady who was the CEO of the uh, largest uh, company in, in China. And now, I, I promise there was no international incident. I covered very well. She never knew what I was thinking, but you all knew what I was thinking, obviously. And, uh, and I had to kick myself afterwards. Why did I immediately assume that he was the CEO instead of her? And that's what this exhibit is all about, and that's why I'm so excited. And I want to thank the Leonardo and Alex and her team uh, for the great work that they always do. Uh, but this is an opportunity uh, to pay tribute to some of the greatest innovators that we have here in the state state of Utah. And as was mentioned, the, the, the problem is that, that too often we just don't know what's happening out there. We don't know the great things, not just male, or not just female, but, but males. We don't know the innovation that's happening right here in our own backyard. And, and I have this great job where um, almost every day I get an opportunity to go out and travel throughout the state, meet with business leaders like you, uh, and see the innovation that is happening right here in the state of Utah and that is really putting us on the map. And this is an opportunity to showcase that. Um, but, but even more important, it's a place where I can bring my, my nine-year-old daughter and where she can be inspired. Um, I keep telling her that she can do anything. I remember uh, dropping her off at, at uh, kindergarten one day um, a, f a few years ago, and she said, Dad, um, you know, I think I know what I want to be when I grow up. And I'm like, okay. And she said, um, I think I want to be a doctor, and uh, I want to help people. I said, that's amazing, and I was so happy. And then she said, or... Uh, magician. And I, <laughs> I, I okay, well you can do that too. You can be anything, but let's talk about that doctor thing a little more. <laughs> and, uh, and so, so I, I want to thank you for, for your inspiration. And again, it's not just to inspire my nine-year-old daughter, but I plan on bringing my three boys here as well because I want to them to see the great innovation that's happening here. So we have a hall of fame now. Um, we, we, we have a hall of fame to, to enshrine the, the faces and the, the names and the resumes and more importantly, again, the innovation of the uh, now 162 women over, over nine years and that list will continue to grow every year and we have a place to do that. Um, I, I, I want to also say this, that um, we uh, we mentioned you know getting the election over with on uh, on on Tuesday and we couldn't none of us could wait for that election to be over with and now we're not so sure um, but uh, wh whether your team won or your team lost or um, or you didn't have a team because you know they were both deplorable, I don't know. Um, what, whatever, whatever it was, wherever you were in this, uh, there is no question that we have some pretty serious problems in our country right now. 
and that we're incredibly divided. And um, I know this is supposed to be about innovation and technology, and you're all incredible, and I feel so dumb every time I'm in a room with, with, uh, with innovators like you, but um, we, need some we need some innovation on, in my job as well and, and uh, on, on the politics side, and uh, we don't need just innovation. We need more women desperately, um, not just... <laughs> And, and I don't just say that to pander to this group. I say that to the men as well. Um, because w when you look at the, at the problems that are happening right now, I am absolutely convinced that if we had more representation from the women, uh, w when Sarah talked about how quickly they pulled all this together, together over the last six weeks and just happened to say it because, you know, it's a woman leading it. Um, she's right, and that's, that's the thing, because you just do stuff, and you get stuff done, and, and you don't care who gets the credit, and that's, that's the problem with politics right now, and uh, we can do better, and, and we need to do better, and it's going to start with, uh, it's going to start with you. So, you've innovated, you're doing great things, um, now we need some of your time to go out and run for office, find people to run for office, and, uh, and, and, uh, and get, get even more involved on the political side. Sorry, that was not in the talking points that you <laughs> gave me. Um, but again, I'm, I'm honored to be here. I, I, I just want to say on behalf of Governor Herbert, on behalf of three million people uh, of the state of Utah, uh, congratulations. Um, you, you deserve it. A and thank you. And, and I want to let you know that we are committed to increasing representation uh, uh, in, in, in the governor's cabinet, um, in our senior staff, uh, in, in every board and commission, and there are over 400 of them, you can go to uh, boards.utah.gov and uh, sign up for, there are, again, hundreds of boards and commissions. Uh, it is our commitment, uh, not just for the sake of diversity, but because you're better at it than us. So we need you. Thank you. God bless you. Keep up the good work.